news this morning. So we are pausing the dollar cost average until I believe the end of day today. We're going to see because I need to set up my new wallet and attach it to the Shrimply, Shrimpy dashboard, which is a bit of a process. So we will pause the DCAs until then. Um, but I'm excited to start again. Though, I, I'm a little nervous as to what's going to happen in the market here. But we're always a little nervous, so it's nothing really new. Um, this is my chart from previously. Uh, I don't think we're going to... I'm actually going to save it and leave it, and we're going to start a new chart here. There's a new idea that's been quite interesting. Now, we went down to about 32.952. And our previous low, would not on a wick, was about 29.675. We've had a lot of inflation, right? We've had a phenomenal amount of inflation. We've had about 10% inflation. And this is what was kind of addressed. I mean, the, the reason the US dollar is now spiking up is because the, the Fed is like, hey, listen, we're going to handle this inflation that's been kind of kicking us in the balls. So if this inflation problem is being handled, how serious was the inflation problem like how serious was it well it's been about 10 percent per year since 2019 so between 2021 and now we've had about 10 percent inflation so if we were to do the math here if this if the bottom was 29,564, and if we multiply that by 10 percent that's about three thousand dollars so if we go to it's about three thousand dollars and if we add three thousand dollars to 29,706, 29 706 we get 32676 and 32676 is almost almost right it's 32676 right there it's just a tiny bit below where we where we landed at 32676 it's a tiny bit like the the slightest amount 32675 there you go so it's it's unbelievably close. So the bottom here is actually here, right? In the current situation, like the, with the monetary currency the way it is, we're about here. This is pretty interesting. So did we actually hit 30,000? 30, 30,000? And if we actually, did we hit, did, did we technically hit 30,000? And if we actually hit 30,000, like the actual number 30,000, are we hitting like 27? Well, 10% less, so... You know, yeah, 27. Just 27 would be uh, be right around uh, right around here. This is very interesting. So then the 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 next question after would be: Is this the technical bottom? Right? Did we is effectively touch the technical bottom? Very interesting questions. Um, and I and I wonder because this is we we had a similar situation. Um, we had a similar situation here. Um, where 2958 was actually, um, this was, where is this? Oh, why? Come on. You know, when, when trading view lets me down, it's always annoying. But in 2018, we had a high and that high was the, the, the last market peak before this was $20,000, right? And so the question then was, have we already hit this high of $20,000? We've had since 2018 enough inflation with all the bank money printing right, that th these numbers here are actually equivalent to $20,000, which is a little bit of a concerning concept there, right? It makes me a little bit nervous that we maybe maybe have already hit it, and maybe we've already hit it here, right, and that we may not go lower. But we'll have to wait and see, like, if we, we're on the daily chart, we'll have to wait and see, because if we, you know, there's a bit of a trend line here, you see that trend, right, you see that trend, and if we draw it here, right, you see this trend here, all right there's another trend so you know i we, i can't I, I can't just buy it i can't buy it i'm gonna have to wait and see until we break past at least the, i know there's a trend line here that we we drew out and of course this is a trend line and it's effectively trash but and i'm not like a, a you know i'm not a prolific technical analyst but are we going to break past this line i want to see us break past this line at least go sideways a little bit and then i'll be a little bit more comfortable right uh, though that being said, we had a trend line here before, right? And we did break past it. And then we, we, we created a new line coming down. So this is, of course, you know, it's nothing really that amazing. It's just we're, we're hitting this line for whatever reason, so on and so forth. But I do wonder, are, are we going to, is this another fake out? We're going to go up and then come back down? 
there doesn't seem to be a lot of strength, right? It doesn't seem to be like phenomenally like powerful in its moves. It seems to be a little uh, a little soft, but we'll see. Not like kombucha. Not a great kombucha, by the way. This is not a great kombucha. I'll tell you, this is this is one of the this is definitely a better kombucha. It has like zero point five percent alcohol in it. It's quite nice. Um, I think this is this is okay as well. Um, this is a great kombucha. I got a big enough bottle for it because it was so good. But yeah, most of this stuff is is kind of trash, like the second rate stuff. Um, yeah. So interesting. I just wanted to let you know about that analysis because I wonder if we've already hit this bottom. Technically, we could say we have, right? The money supply has increased significantly. And um, let's see if we can pull that up. Money supply. Um, like that. Uh, so like it's, the, the chart's are actually pretty wild, right? Look at this. It, it's like, it, it's absurd, basically. So we've had, uh, and they stopped reporting this too because of how absurd it is, which is even scarier, right? So they stopped in last year, this time. They stopped, but you can imagine this thing kept going, right? It's it's still going at some crazy clip, um, and it's only going to stop in March, it seems like. So I bet it's you know if this was uh, yeah this is where is it? Oh, so we, yeah we're probably out here right now. Um, yeah, our last market peak was 2018. Here I believe that was March 2018. So from here to there, uh, well sorry 2021. Oh, right, right. So we did, we don't even count for it. We don't even count for it. It's been about, so th that's a $20,000 peak. And, and then we bottomed out at about $30,000, which may have been 28 something. That may have actually been the peak. But you can see the money printing has been absolutely absurd, right? Um, yeah, you can see a lot of weird things happening because of that. Um, but I, I suspect we will not make it past. Uh, but we will see. I don't want to make predictions because I'm frequently wrong, right? So I don't want to make any solid predictions here. Of course, this is not financial advice. But this is what I suspect is going to happen. Aside from that, uh, we'll get back on our daily DCA shortly. Uh, if you guys have any specific questions for me, please let me know. 14 transactions in. One of those transactions did get lost. I'm going to have to figure that out. We have a 4.7 ETH, which is great. Um, but yes, and yeah, that's about it. Talk, talk to you guys soon.